Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, the final first round match, two, two people got buys, uh, but this is the last one played, we've got OG Team Melon, uh, with humans up against Daedal Kvist with uh, dwarves, and it's not the best dwarf team ever, uh, but he got this together in about 15 games or something, got a couple of stand firms, bunch of guard, uh, I mean a great, he got a great troll set we found in a very, very short space of time. Very few games, and that's an amazing, ama like pretty much perfect troll slayer, right? And four normals, pawn, tackle, jugs, really nice. Um, DP runner, and you know a serviceable runner with block leader kickoff turn. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice team. Like obviously you could do with like what three more guard, but um, so it is quite guard light. It is quite actually quite guard light. It's only like six guard or something. But um Yeah, only six guard. But it's quite a nice first round opponent, uh, a small human team. Uh don't look at this blitzer. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> Avert your gaze <laughs> from this blitzer. <laughs> yep. And uh, Palm Tackle Frenzy's alright, Strength Up's alright, but yeah, decent, decent Ogre, but um, yeah, this is, I mean it wouldn't be a decent throw, right, like, Strong Arm is absolute trash, on anyone, it's, Strong Arm is trash on a throw, right? it is an abomination, hello Pedro, <laughs> isn't it just Shawnee, yeah. Yep. Well, you know, they're probably a, a, someone who plays to have fun. And not a min-maxing nerd who only enjoys spreadsheets and never wants fun and is just, you know, a, probably a boring, terrible person who's actively bad for the hobby. They're a cool fun haver who's taking these things because... It makes more fun. Somehow. There he goes, there's a bit of moving around from Dado. Nothing exciting. Not blitzing with his tackle part. No tackle irrelevant for this game, so just pom a frenzy part. It's terrible. It's terrible is what it is. You're a rookie, rookie blitzer. Gets the knockdown. Rossler gets the knockdown. This is the problem that dwarves have, right? If if they do, if they do uh base you up. They're only strength three, so it's not too hard to knock them down. So they have to uh, They have to do things. <laughs> they have to they have to do things, they've gotta use their guard well and they've gotta like choose the right time to get in and like get in well. Ooh, not a fan of blitzing a rossler, but then it does give him two on one there, and I guess this troll slayer is going to come in as well, but it should have already been in, right? Ooh, I would have put him in. Whatever he is, he should have gone there first, but I would have put him in, because just basing him, right, I can as well base both, so that you've got, um, this would have to be cancelled then if you wanted to hit him, or you'd have to put in another guard. Well, he's only got one guard. Oh dear, he's only got one guard on this human team. Oh, well, this is a pretty tragic human team, isn't it? Easy cut. Yeah, I mean, it's three or whatever. What is it? it changes it to a two, three, three, four or something. That's not very good. It's really not good. It could have been guard. 
Uses wrestle to deal with a stand firm, lovely. Oh, and then dub skulls. <laughs> yeah, see, but if the, if this guy was in, then obviously he's lethal, right? With the uh, tackle power. You can't two dice him because you can't get a guard in to hit him. And uh, and you'd have made, made another assist to make that two D. So yeah, I really like putting the troll slayer. And then obviously if. If this had all happened the way it did, then uh, you get to make the hit on this guy with Pom. Well, I guess now as he goes for the uh, ogre here. Nope. Nope. It's a little bit rowdy from Daedle here. This is okay. Normally, this would be terrible, right? Because he could uh, he could follow, but he does have stand firm. So in fact, now if he, depending on the ordering, you could even not use stand firm. So you've maybe got the uh, slayer hit. But also, depending on ordering, like there's no way you would like if you could hit you and then blitz the slayer or the runner, you're definitely not going to do that. It's pretty nice having a stun for him there. And the DD blocks back. And then does nothing. Wow. Well, no removals yet, but. I mean, the humans have just got nothing, have they? The humans. Really, just have nothing. <laughs> Hello, MC crew. So this is really just like, don't flip it up for Daedal, isn't it? He has to not flip things up. But um, I just get in the way. Like, keep most of your team in between the. Uh, you know, in the in the centre portion of the pitch, try and just keep most of your team like here in a box. So at least if he makes a break, you can you can get back in the act. The danger is if like you overcommit, basically, or expose your runner. Tragedy. Now, I think I would have just kept him like out back here, right? So he's less of a target. If you lose him, you could, you could get into trouble a bit. Only a bit. Yeah, he's not blitzing. I thought he had to dodge off. Like I would have dodged, Like here, I would have dodged off the tackle from and blitzed him, right? But then if you if you protect him up here then that doesn't happen. It makes him give an easier cage. But um No. Yep, that's better. Yeah. Daedle getting most of his armor breaks and removals by failed dodges. <laughs> Doing work, isn't he? This this fella on all of these. Um, you know what I think the play could have been is block him and chain. Has he got stun for him? No. So yeah, chain, chain him. Hmm. I wanted like double chain. I wonder if there's a way. Like I'd have tried to double chain because he's here, right? Like if he hadn't already hit, I think you could have tried to double chain somebody in here or something. Yes, it's worse than a strong arm human throw. It's a strong arm human blitz. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Sparky Sparky Boomer. 
And hello, Paravel. And yep, yeah, it's. It's brutal, isn't it? Hmm. Well, he might get a tutty here anyway, turn six, and he's. I mean, I don't know why this catcher based instead of just standing here. <laughs> Not what I'd have done, who can see if it's good or bad. We all can. One, two, three, four, five. Because he didn't get there, right? He, he could have been here. This catcher could have just been one over. Why did he base him? Yeah, he could have gone there. He could have just been one over, and this would have been like a pretty good cage. But instead. He bases and decides on no cage. Wow. Was it a misclick? Maybe. Maybe a misclick. For BB Super League, if you remember that, what a, what a great thing. This is just a 2 plus out. You might 1D here, right? Depends how much. I guess it's not hard to play in this. Yeah, it's so easy to put in the system. Getting the power. It's so easy to put in the system. Oh. Power up all. Be up instant 2D at the ball. On the sideline as well, very exciting. It's the removal, instant removal. Yeah, we'll go for a pick up and again. One, two, three, four, five. He could double GFI uh, this this transfer. Slight misposition here, by the way, from Daedal Quest. This guy should be here, right? This guy should be here. Arguably here. But I think here's the best. Because the play for OGT Melon here is to dodge there and punch him. And then he scores. That, that's, how, that's how he scores, right? Four plus dodge, one dice, pow, go and pick it up. So, if you put him here, like you're, you're only making him do a one in nine dodge. If you, if you put him here, then when he hits you, he can only push him to there. And then you've got a character here, so there's a good chance it's in his tackle zone. And he's like more in the way of getting it and, you know, going around and getting it and everything. He's way more in the way than he is here. Um... Obviously pushes him there. And if you put him here, which is also good, right, with a guard, then th if you put him, if you also by here, you can just dodge away and get a 2D, right? So if you put him here, you can still get the 2D. But again, you're using him to do the thing. If you put him there, he can't get the 2D, but he could just 1D you and then get a really good scatter. So it's definitely, I think it's definitely wrong to put the blitzer there. And this isn't terrible, I just think he is better. Hmm. There you go. A very over analysis of that one square, but it's interesting, isn't it? Because that one square could could like decide the game because he could have gone into one of three squares, or he could have even come back, right? He could have gone back to there. Maybe that's even better, right? Instead of GFIing up to here, maybe he could have GFIed back to there. Maybe that would have been the best play, eh? Yeah, if he's here. Then this dodge one day becomes a harder dodge in it one uphill. So maybe, maybe he should have been in there even. Super interesting. Super interesting. I think it was worth like taking away a scoring track from Dead Lair to, to do that. Russell. Maybe a GFI, but I think it's worth it with, oh my god, three dice. To, uh, get it out. Not true or done in federal. <laughs> I 
And now you just cage somewhere. Maybe he's just a bit back there, right? Maybe just cage back here. You've already got two. Mm. He was dodging. Yeah, I like that. He was dodging for the four GFIs to score. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful cores. Why the room a bit? Because he got both down. And, uh, the catcher had both. Oh, he's got jugs. Because Daedal shit at Blood Bowl. <laughs> hey! hey! <laughs> Is that the answer you were looking for, Thomas T? <laughs> that's one of those things, isn't it? You know that, like, that's one of the things that, like, I didn't even, I didn't notice that. But I think it's worse, Daedal not noticing it because Daedal picked. Juggernaut on him, didn't he? <laughs> you know, like he's playing this game, having already picked Juggernaut on this fella. And, uh, like, I think a lot of the. I think a lot of the things that people miss are easier to watch when you're watching. You know, like, some things are easier when you're watching. Because, like, when you're playing, like, you get kind of a bit blinkered, don't you? And a bit, uh. You know, you get an idea in your head and you go for it and stuff, and it's easy to, like, overlook things and. It's easy to get a bit emotional and stuff, but um, it's. But that's one of the things when you've actually selected the skills yourself. That's one thing where it's more on the people that you know they they really should remember those things, right? Like they should know that their witch elf's got plus movement, so they're in scoring range and stuff. Whereas, I think as commentators, it's easy to not bother them. Uh, why not touchdown? Because he couldn't. <laughs> And if you if you're saying what happened here with the uh, apology, it was just it was just a joke made by PC. Um, <laughs> the you know what to do with the uh, I can't remember some arsehole on TV. Britain's Got Talent. Oh yeah, that was that was Daedal's. Right, so two stay out. That's pretty unlucky, isn't it? How many players has he got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I bet he was human. Oh, but the humans didn't come back either. But they still got eleven. Very exciting. And nothing LOS. Huge. Pylon fail. Could think about fouling that guy now, eh? Got, got dirty player. And, uh, men. Ooh, that's a bad spot because he can get chained away. Yeah, I, th I think he blitz this guy and then you can be my wingman anytime. That's right. Bullshit. Kill on the turd! <laughs> Hello. Hello, Kalon. Straight from Machu Picchu. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Ah, oh, didn't didn't blitz this guy. I think blitzing this guy and two assist fouling the uh, Slayer was better. But Removal, can't I go? Ooh, power apple. Yeah, that's probably the right decision from Daedal there. It's getting, get, slipping away a little bit. Um, if it, yeah, I think that was a really good apple. Really good apple from Daedal. Uh, not bad, thanks, Kill. I'm just super tired, but, uh, you know, soldiering on because I'm a, I'm a pro. <laughs> Played a bit of fumble because fumble works for me now. That's a lot glorious. I don't think those matches will go on YouTube. I guess they could. I guess they could go on YouTube. Maybe like if I have a good game, I could put it on YouTube. 
like an interesting game. Like, like slaughtering skinks. <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun, slaughtering skinks. Baldrick. the balls going with this guy being here. Oh yeah, just here, yeah. I, I thought we'd have uh, like based this guy right and kept like the cage based. Just have two players in the corner, which is kind of what he's done, except it could have been further forward, right? It could have been like one forward and one over, and then have two people on him. Which I think I would have preferred. Well, I don't think I would have preferred, I know I would have preferred it. <laughs> Getting to hit this Slayer again. I guess pom the Slayer and then block somebody else. Pomming the Slayer is like such good value. So he is going to do this hit, but oh, okay, no, he does that hit. Okay, okay, I like that. I like. I do like blitzing this Slayer. Oh, no. oh, so he, well, I follow him, can run all the way around. Okay, he's not gonna, he could have run all the way around and pushed him back. Be interesting. Doesn't pile. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They've got a pile on. It's a jungle out there, and you're either piling or getting piled. Oh look, you could have just done that with a pile on. <laughs> and not been sent off. <laughs> well, I, actually, I do like fouling this guy, just looking at It's like you humans, your team is rubbish. The way you win this is by getting lucky with pom removals and foul removals. So I'd have definitely pom pom the slayer. Like hundred percent should have piled on. In my opinion, hundred percent. Oh, I'd chain in for an extra hit, lovely. Lovely stuff from Daedal. And rewarded in the usual manner for Blood Bowl. <laughs> Absolutely not at all. I don't really like letting uh, the... What's he called? <laughs> runner getting... The Runner could have been based by the Ogre here, couldn't he? He could have just blitzed. And then based him. Also, we could have come into the cage on like what two, three, four, five. No, that's, doesn't need to worry about that. But he could have. I, I would like blitzing this guy and getting strength five on the ball. And, but it's an option, right? It's an option that I would have rather not given him. He could have just been one back, and I wouldn't have the option. Oh, I mean, really like that going for the blockless player with. Block Frenzy Pom. Unbelievably gets no knockdown. That was, that was very unlucky. Absolutely the right play. In my opinion. Which is correct. <laughs> Blitzing the, blitzing the catch is really nice here, isn't it? And just punch straight up the middle. And it's not just that, it's a defenseless player, right? So, like, he, he, he's defenseless, you've got your frenzy doesn't get you into trouble, and uh, he's on the right, so the absolute perfect target just for removal. He's never going to fight with anybody, really. Like, this this guy's never found him with TP. Even though he's got TP, he's, he's already down two players. He's just using him as a... as a fast fella. Relatively fast. <laughs> I really don't like how little... OGT Melon is blitzing with his Pommer. It's almost like he read on the internet 
but piling on is good. Bit like, bit like, uh, what's he called? Dode, isn't it? Dode like had read on the internet that Clawpon was overpowered. And then when he played, he just didn't pile on. <laughs> and it's like, you gotta, you gotta pile on for it to be good. Getting a bit crunch for time now, Dirtle. A bit crunch for time. Like, he would like to pom this guy, but if he does, it's uh, really slowing him down. I'm just like gonna have to mash in. Get forward? Does he does he go here? Like does he go this far forward? This is pretty wild. I think he's going to. This is like the uh the funeral procession or whatever it was called in one of the white dwarves when they had uh when they had undead tactics and that was the undead tactic that they recommended was was like this ludicrous formation, amazingly. <laughs> the first time in my life I've seen it happen in a game. <laughs> oh, that's a... That's a disappointing... That is a disappointing one. <laughs> well, honestly, not picking Piling On is better than picking it and never using it. You know, like... Juggernaut, you don't need to do anything to get used about Juggernaut, apart from <laughs> remembering you've got it, so not re-rolling a <laughs> pull down that gets a ball down. <laughs> cool. This looks just about enough for Dale to get in for the turn 16 score. We'll get a little bit forward here, won't we? And then a little bit forward next time. Will be enough. It seems much better than the, than the humans. Is that flicky with a new name? I mean, they've all got dirt. Somewhere. Dimmy Derp G. Uber Derp Fell is pretty good, isn't it? GFI. Diddle doing a GFI? What? What? Kind of got a knock pile on here. I mean, I guess he's not around here, you know, maybe he would have been in. But, um. Also, it's a bit. Ooh, I don't like this. I do not like this, right? The, the player here, clearly. Where was he here? One, two, thr three, four, five. So there's two ways of doing it. Hmm, no, pro probably not. Probably, probably just chain. Probably just chain away and stuff. Just chain away. But like, not, not, you've got to chain him, right? You have to chain. You can chain the catcher. If you put in a guy there, where he's pushed him, if you put this guy there, then you get to chain this catcher out of the way to make. To make the diagonal. 
and then like just don't just don't uh, pile on oh it's turn 15 oh my god I'm an idiot in that case this was fine and none of it mattered <laughs> it's turn 15 oh my god I disregard all of that it's just a minor brain fart In my defence, Dale should know what turn it is. He's playing the game, so... That was fine. So yeah, now it's an easy score. That should be easy. Probably shouldn't have... Hmm, I don't know if you should have piled or not. Because having the Frenzy Juggernaut free next turn is pretty good, right? So, seeing as like if you score, you've won. Piling on obviously gives you a chance at SPP, but SPP is mostly relevant for it now. So it's probably best not to pile on last turn, as they'd have the uh, frenzy here to clear, more likely to clear. Right, if you could blitz with his frenzy, he's got three dice twice, whereas now he can three dice and he can get a both down. They trip both down. Whereas he's got fret, he's got juggernaut. So if he got a triple ball down, he would have another chance to hit him. So yeah, that was. Uh, he should have not piled last turn. I think. Just in the context of maximizing the score chance the turn after. Oh wow! What out of fun. Flip me. Wow, the KOs in this game have been crazy. It's been like 1 in 10 KOs or something. That's mad. Do you even put your... I wouldn't put my stand film on your OS here. No way. I'd just put my uh, worst players. The dirty player and the uh, two liners. Maybe even a guard, right? Because you're likely to be downloaded TV. So maybe guard and two rookies. Oh, I hate this. I absolutely hate this from David. Apple's gone. You're risking two amazing... No, no, this is incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, he has got sprint. But still. The quick snap. Oh, man. Oh, he's done it wrong. No. Well, that was a damn squib, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> he could have... Uh, what could he have done? He could have sidestepped to here. Uh, not sidestep. Quick snap to here. Quick snap here. Block that guy. Move in. Block chain and four to here. And then he could have um, 1D blitz through the back line. Would have been pretty sick. In fact, the ogre could have blitz, couldn't he? Mm. No, he's just not going for it. He probably doesn't mark one turn. Um. It wasn't... I mean, I've never heard of OGT Melon, and it wasn't the deepest feel we've ever had in Chalice, was it? He just runs there. Wow, amazing. Imagine if he'd got a push. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great team, right? It wasn't a great team. And Congrats on him qualifying. OGT Melon, commiserations on losing. And congratulations to Daedalquist, who gets through the second round. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.